In this video, you're going to learn how to work with characters inside Create Studio. So first of all, on the left hand side panel, you'll be able to see we've got the Studio Builder over here. And what I can do is go over to backgrounds. I'm just going to go grab a background first of all uh, to start my project. So I'm going to click on this gym, just drag and drop it onto the canvas and you'll be able to preview your background. Okay, so you can go into the background by double clicking on it. And you can see the separate elements over here. And if you want to delete something or move something to a different position, you can do that. Um, and they all have preset motion uh, animations on them. So you can adjust them if you want it as well. You can just drop, drop down over here and um, you know change the motion preset or you can delete it. Okay, so that's uh, the background. I'm just gonna go back out of here. And what I'd like to do when you're creating your videos and you've got your background already set, it's good. a good thing to do is simply lock the background. And that means that you know, when you're adding other elements on top, you won't be able to um, move the background and it. it's kind of nice to have it all set in place like that. So let's go and grab um, a character. So I'm gonna go grab this girl over here and just simply drag and drop it onto the canvas. You can position it as you like. You can make it bigger or smaller. It's really that simple. Um, so I'm just gonna drag her over to the start and you can see if I just play this through right now, that we've got the background animating in and we've got her in an idle kind of position. Um, for these animated characters, for the supreme ones over here, these ones, um, they basically start in an idle position and then they do the action and they go back into the idle position, um, meaning that you can add multiple actions and it will work in a seamless kind of loop. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, create some actions. So first of all, um, if you haven't seen uh, the actions, what you can do is simply drop down this over here and you have two different lines. The first one is actions. And the next one is for animations, okay? So let's go ahead and work on the actions in this demo. So simply click on the action. Um, once it's selected, you'll be able to see a drop down menu and just drop it down and you can select an action for your character. So let's say um, we wanna go with wave, okay? And then what I can do is if I wanna add another action, just simply click on add action and let's go with dumbbells, okay? So if I preview this, you can see we've got the wave action it goes back to idle and then into the dumbbells and then back to idle, okay? So that's how easy it is to go and work with your characters. If you wanted to actually go through and, um, you know, make her way from the left hand, what you can do is simply flip her and you can see that it makes the actions now all go from the left hand side like that. Um, so yeah, you can play around with these kind of things. So that's just a basic uh, overview and intro into working with characters. Um, in the following video, I'm going to show you how to create some uh, animations as well with the characters, like things like walking from a certain position to another um, and some other helpful tips. Mm -hmm.